What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, programmers of all ages. Welcome back to programming and game development with Hacksflixel in this introduction to Hacksflixel programming series. So in today's series tutorial, we are finally adding the health bar and the ability for the player to die to some extent. Well, although we already have it set up, this time it will be that the player has can take more hits before dying. So to get things started, let's open up player.hx and scroll. So under the new function or what is known as the constructor, just under the drag, let me just scroll down a bit. So under drag.x and drag.y, we want to say health equals 100. So this is the health of the player. You get health with um, the FLX sprite um, class that which we extend. This will keep track of, this will allow us to keep track of the player's health and we can thus sync it up with the player's health bar. Cool. Next up, melee test state dot hx. First things first, we need a new private variable. So private var health bar and it is of type flx bar okay so down so in the create function just before super dot create we want to say health bar equals new flx bar and as you can see it wants the float a the float um position for x and y so we can say zero zero the direction is from left to right. It, the width is 100 since our player has 100 health. The height is 10. The parent reference is player. The variable for it is called health. Uh, the minimum is zero the maximum is 100 and we want to show a border for it so that we can more easily follow it as the player moves around because what we're going to do is connect it to the player so that the idea is that our ui is as encapsulated as it possibly can be or i should rather say it sh it's centered on the player so that as long as you focus on the player you should be able to see most of what you need i think the only thing that we won't do like that is the buttons to choose um which projectiles to fire but other than that the health bar will be centered yep that's it just the health bar and i feel like i just went on a tangent my bad in any case underscore health bar dot create full fold bar um flx so it's just c so if it's empty we want it to be flx color dot red ah, i need to import color no not what i meant to do why why, why are you gonna be like this okay dot red so the full color, so if it's full, so we say FLX color dot green. So the green will indicate how healthy the player is. And as the green moves down, we will start seeing more and more red indicating that we're losing health. And yes, we do want to show a border. Cool. Next up is health bar dot track parent. So we want it to track the player and I want it to be at the X of 20 and the Y of minus 20. So it will be at the top right corner of our player. Now let's add the health bar to the scene. Awesome. And now you might be thinking, well, that's it. Cool. Let's go. Cheers, boys. Our health bar is synced. It looks at the health. It's set up everything. No, unfortunately not. So in our update function, let me just scroll down. We say if player 
dot alt is less than 100 player dot health equals player dot health plus elapsed time so our player will slowly regenerate its health over time and it just makes sense that a magical bounty hunter has the ability to regenerate its own health especially seeing as how it uses its own health points to shoot projectiles as we will implement shortly so next up if we say if player dot health is less or equal to zero player dot health equals 100 player dot set position player respawn position dot get x and player dot respawn position get y so if the player's health drops to zero or below we want to respawn the player at the point at which it was initially spawned and set his health back to 100 cool and then finally we want to say health bar dot value is equal to player dot health next up let's scroll down to shoot because as the player shoots we want we want to um, take some health points away to pay for the projectiles uh, so player dot health is equal to player dot health minus one that way every time the player shoots uh, one health point will be taken away but as time progresses it will come back as the player heals next up if we scroll down to handle player monster collision so rather than just respawning the player at um, the respawn point we want to say player dot health uh, equals player dot health minus 10. cool that should be it so let's test it out lime test hl dash debug so i haven't gotten used to using f5 rather than typing okay i'll be back as soon as this has finished compiling cool it has finished so now if we click on test melimap and now you can see we have a health bar if we move around the health bar follows us if i shoot you can see the health bar starts going down if I stop shooting, you can see it slowly regenerates as time continues. And now let's see if we can find some monsters to hurt us. And see if the respawn works. Wow, that went quickly. Uh, let's see if we can do that again, but a bit slower this time. Uh, as you saw, um, the health bar shot down. Now the problem is... If we hit a monster, the monster just keeps hitting us every frame that a collision is detected. So our health bar drops really quickly. And hey, we can just say that that is an extra difficulty curve for the player. We can still shoot monsters. The problem is now the player has to think about conserve, conserving the energy and not just randomly firing but rather trying out some strategy i'm so dead and you can see like we can't just stand here and spam <laughs> we kind of have to move around think more logically about this and our player is about to die and before that let's just save him and exit now i was a bit of a dumbass when i set up the notes for this video i accidentally added two weeks worth of things in one video so hey guess who gets two videos in one so next up let's add a pause menu to our game so first things first let's create a new file under source and we'll call this one pause menu dot hx nice so class pause 
menu extends flx sub state now you might be thinking well what's a substate we've thus far only done flx state and what a sub substate is is you can spawn a substate inside of a state and it will pause the background state so it works perfectly for in-game menus where we just want to pause it for a sec go into the menu and then go back to the game without having to worry about setting up any save logic or things like that which works out perfectly in this case and other than that it's pretty much the exact same as a normal state so we can say private var title of flx text private var back button of type flx but button private var menu button of type flx button private var desktop button of type flx and now we can set all our juicy things up so it's pretty much the exact same as any other st uh, menu state you've seen thus far so i'll just run through it you should be able to set it up by now following what we did in menu state play state uh testing menu state i think that's about it or yeah no that should be about it as far as menus go so title equals new flx text at point zero forty zero and we'll say pause menu and it has a text size of 18 title dot alignment equals center title dot screen center at x and then add title nice next up is our menu button so menu button equals new flx button at point zero zero with the text of exit to main menu and we'll give it an anonymous function callback so that we don't have to create more functions down below and worry about naming and things like that we can just create it all here in this thing so we say flx g dot g dot camera dot fade fade flx color dot black 0 0.33 false and then an another anonymous callback well there was a tongue twister and we say flxg dot switch state to new menu state cool so that sets up the menu button well most of it we still need to set it up as far as putting it on the screen so screen center at x and y and then add to and then add the menu button to the substate noise next up is the back button and the desktop button so back button first back button equals new flx button zero at zero you want to say continue and then the anonymous function callback is just close so if we call this function close let's see if it has closes the substate so this will take us then back to the original state from which we opened the substate and then we say back button dot screen center at x back button dot y equals 
menu button dot y minus back button dot height minus two so we set this one above the menu button and then we add the back button onto our sub scene or oh, sub state sub scene state in any case uh next up is the desktop button equals new flx button at point zero zero on the screen with the text of exit to desktop and then the anonymous function callback will just say sys dot exit with come on with code of zero and we say desktop button dot screen center at x and desktop button dot y equals menu button dot y minus desktop button dot no actually that's a plus plus desktop button dot height plus two then we add it to the sub state and then in our update function let's just scroll up so underneath shoot let's create a new function called handle keyboard and then if we scroll down to under the shoot function let's create a new let me just scroll down a bit more a new private function called handle keyboard and it doesn't take any variables when we say if if lxg dot keys dot any pressed and then we want to see if the escape key has been pressed if it has then we say open substate and new pause menu and th the substate takes a type of color if you don't give it it's transparent i believe so we just say flx color dot black awesome now let's test it out. So lime test hl dash debug. I'll be back as soon as this has compiled. Okay, it has compiled. Let's test it out. So test map. Now if we press escape, hey, look at this. We have a continue, takes us back to the game. We have an exit to main menu, which takes us back to the main menu. If we say test map. And I have no idea why it says what looks to be Marn. Any case, when we say exit to desktop. And that's it. That's how you create a pause menu in Hacksflixel and how you add a health bar to your player. I hope you enjoyed this extra long video. Thanks to earlier me that doesn't know how to set up things very well in any case i hope you have an awesome week and if you enjoyed this video please drop a like subscribe send it to a friend and i'll see you next week goodbye and enjoy